Okay, so we've got the tandem back in the shop. Uh, a couple weeks weekends ago, uh, we were driving and we went over railroad track and the yoke right before the first differential fell off the truck um, and the slip joint was connected to it. The U-joint did not fail um, and uh, we had to tow home. It's a $500 tow. We had to replace that yoke. Uh, what I think happened is um, the yoke still had a part number on it. Uh, before we bought the truck, I bet you someone put a yoke on it, didn't torque the nut or didn't put the nut back on. Uh, I did not notice it. I should have. Uh, anyway, um, we lost the yoke going down the road, and so the axle, the drive axle was just flopping around. And uh, I think what happened is we replaced the yoke, we replaced the U-joint in that yoke on the differential side. Um, but on the other side of that axle, uh, right after the carrier bearing, we've got a U-joint, um, and I started getting vibrations after I did that. So um, I think what happened is that U-joint failed because of all the tor to tension and the um, excessive angles of when it was flopping around. Um, so it's got a lot of play in it, and we're going to go ahead and take care of that before uh, it leaves us on the side of the road again. Okay, so this U-joint has too much play in it. Um, and so we need to switch that out. I'm having some vibrations. And uh, I'm pretty sure that that is the cause of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to get this off. And uh, see, it's got, instead of like Loctite, they have these little clips that, that, that keep the bolt from head from moving on this style. Let's see if I can bend those out so that I can get a socket on it. I think it's a 9 16th. It's not. 9 16th is too, um, too small. 10 16ths would be 5 eighths. I'll be right back. Oh, you know what? I didn't see that tab on the other side. It is 9 16ths. There's a tab on both sides of the hex head. It's exactly what it is. There's a one here too. It's keeping me from getting on it. There we go. This is also nine sixteenths. Yep, it's 9 sixteenths. Okay. is the one up top.
That one was too easy, which means the other one's going to be a pain in the butt. In fact, I probably should have got the other one. Oh, that was easy. Let's see if I can spin this cap. spin please All right, so we got that out. I cleaned up that bearing, and we'll go take it to the shop just to get a new one. I'll send a picture of that to my friend. See if he thinks that carry bearing is replaced as well, and we'll go from there. So we're gonna take that U joint over to the shop, to an international dealer actually, and get a new U joint, and uh, hopefully by that time. We've got an answer on this carrier bearing. All right, so <clears throat> we got our U joint. We're going to go ahead and put this 
axle with the splines back in there. Make sure we get the yokes uh, in phase. <clears throat> we haven't moved the truck, so everything should all be lined up. got this DeWalt battery powered grease gun that I use a lot on the skid loader and it's got a, um, a, a special kind of tip that's supposed to lock on. in that one okay so that concludes our video on the u-joint i uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you like and subscribe and we'll continue bringing more videos of things we do in the homestead thanks